Planet of Lana is a 2023 puzzle platform game that is in the vein of cinematic platformers such as Inside or Limbo, and it has an art style inspired by Studio Ghibli. It follows a young girl and a cat as she goes through and tries to save her sister from invading alien forces. The game is fairly simple, however it has various different mechanics to go ahead and diversify and complicate its different puzzles. You start off as again a young girl with her sister just running through your little city, when all of the sudden an alien invasion occurs. Your sister gets kidnapped and seemingly everybody else in the town is killed. Alone and scared, you start to make a run for it so that way you can try to go save your sister, and while doing so, you run into a new friend, a cat. This cat is now your companion and serves as another piece to the various different puzzles that are present in this world. While running through the different levels, you will encounter various different enemies, everything from these weird spider demons to actual just giant robotic aliens. Your character is not able to directly take on any of them as there is no direct combat, however you can sometimes kill various enemies with the environment around you. On top of that, you can make your cat Mui move or sit, and on top of that, Mui can activate various different things, including lights and whatnot, in order to help you go through these various different puzzles. There are 12 different levels altogether, and each level consists of a different background with a final puzzle at the end to tie up the level. Mui is extremely fast and agile, and so therefore you can use them to get up to various different spots that you wouldn't be able to, and then they can drop down ropes for you amongst other things. On top of that, there's just various different things that you come across that are then used in the puzzles. For example, there's one that you use a lift to go up and down, but the lift automatically lowers, and you have to use all of these features in order to solve the various different puzzles. Another one was this kind of pipe puzzle where you had to go through and find all of the different things in the positions that they're supposed to go into and then move the things into said position. One of the coolest parts was the cavernous part where basically you go through these dark caves and you have to use Mui in order to illuminate various different areas and it would be very difficult to get through if it weren't for some of the very cool lighting effects that they use. On top of that, the art style is absolutely superb. It's very simple, however, it that simplicity is where the true true meat of it actually lies. Apparently the head director of art for this like wrote a little sketch down of a girl looking up at an alien uh, robot, a giant alien robot, and that was kind of the inspiration for the rest of the game. This simplicity adds almost this kind of serene feel to the environment, making it so that it's both pleasurable but also sometimes terrifying to get through. For example, the various different aliens will sit there and if they even notice you for a split second, they start to move extremely fast and then they start going all red and then they come and they zap you to death. The music that is played is very, again, simple and serene, and is only added to by the actual robots responding to different sounds as their kind of control. For example, there's one part that you can uh, play this little tone and this flying robot near you then becomes available to be used by you. You can then have your cat sit on top of it and fly it around in order to have the cat unlock new places. Another mechanic example would be that your cat does not like water at all. <laughs> And so therefore, anytime there is a watery area, you have to find some sort of boat in order to get them across. The puzzles are definitely unique and varied, and it's definitely one of the most fun parts of the game is just trying to deduce the various different aspects of these puzzles, and I again love the serene nature of everything.
Planet of Lana is not perfect. There are some clunky aspects with the kind of controlling the cat and whatnot. They also sometimes feel like it isn't clear enough how far you can fall before you actually die. And for example, with the pipe puzzle, there was one part of the puzzle that just seemed kind of weird and obscure. And the way that you find it, you'd have to pay really, really close attention to, so much so that it felt kind of almost unnecessarily unfair. However, so far, Planet of Lana has not disappointed deeply and is a 3.5 out of 4 stars. What do you guys think? Have you played this yet? Have you not? It is on Game Pass, so if you haven't played it yet, you definitely should give it a try. And like and subscribe for more content like this going forward, including game reviews, first impressions, new games coming out, etc. And like and subscribe over on Smoke and Sessions for content similar, except in the vein of movies. And you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram that will pop up during the outro. Alright guys, I'll see you all in the next Game and Sessions. Oh